There are only 18 Pokemon types and 1,025 Pokemon. But for each Pokemon type, who embodies their type the most? Enough to even be considered the mascot of their respective typing? That's enough yapping. I'm gonna get straight into our first type, which is fighting. For the mascot of fighting, they need to look like they could convincingly beat the shit out of you. And to be honest, this surprisingly narrows it down. But the thing is, you've already seen the thumbnail, so don't be shocked to know that Machomp is our winner. I mean, he has two sets of arms, massive triceps, and he could easily beat the fuck out of me. What else do you need from a fighting type? Our next type is poison. And this is a very easy choice for me personally. Most poison Pokemon are usually just a secondary dual typing, with their main type being either bug or grass, leaving very few pure poison types left to choose from. Most of you watching this video are probably thinking in your head, it's gotta be Nidu King and Queen, right? No. First off, if you just take a quick look at Nidoking and Queen for more than three seconds, you'll start to question, why is this mother even a poison type? The creators literally just stuck some purple on my boy and said, yep, this guy is a poison type. Bro, he is a rabbit. To me, a poison Pokemon should be terrifying. Something that could unalive you with a single drop, not Barney the dinosaur. So for me, the mascot is none other than this fella right here, mainly because he looks f***ing lethal. Our next type is Psychic. And for a psychic mascot, we need a mysterious, whimsical, and mythical creature with immense magical and psychic powers, which would honestly be perfect for this legendary boy right here. That is, if he was actually a fucking psychic type. So now we've got to settle for either Mew, Alakazam, Deoxys, or Gothadel. Because honestly, the rest of them are pretty crap. But if I had to choose from these, I'd have to go with the ancestor of all Pokemon to ever exist. Coming up next, we've got Normal. For our Normal mascot, we're gonna be picking the most bland, plain, and unoriginal Pokemon to ever exist. So Radita, right? Well, at least he's got a bit of purple, so it can't be him. Maybe Eevee, right? Well, Eevee can evolve into all different types of creatures, so if I had to choose, Taurus would be my personal winner. This dude is literally just a bull. Ghost is the next on our chopping block. But again, you've seen the thumbnail, this one goes to our favorite purple boy. He's one of the few ghost Pokemon that is actually a ghost. And his entire evolution line is creepy, just like a ghost should be. Bug is our next typing. And to be the bug mascot, you have to embody the scary, creepy, crawly identity that most people attach with bugs. And for me, the person that fits this classification the most has to be Scallopede. This dude is pretty terrifying. And if I saw one of them in my house like a normal everyday bug, I'm giving up ownership. He can have it, just get that thing away from me. Next is water. This is probably the hardest one yet because how am I supposed to decide which Pokemon embodies water the most? Since 99% of all water Pokemon are literally just sea creatures painted blue, I'm gonna have to give this one to the big daddy of all blue aquatic creatures. Now it's time for fire. The fire mascot has to be a destructive badass fire creature and nobody fits that classification better than the fire breathing lizard. Since fire goes to Charizard, you're probably expecting Pikachu to be the mascot for Electric, but you couldn't be more wrong. Electric has to be someone quick, speedy, and nimble, just like the properties of electricity in real life. And yeah, Pikachu fits all three. But I'm looking for someone even faster. And who could be better for this role other than my boy Jolteon? Now we're on to Dark. Dark has to be an edgy emo looking guy, which automatically puts these three as the front runners. But for me personally, Dark Cry has to be the winner, solely for the fact that he has Dark in his name. Grass is an easy choice for me. Uh, which other Pokemon do you know that carries an entire fucking ecosystem on their back? Ice has to go to someone cold and lonely. Who's better suited for this other than Delibird? Now, it's time for Dragon. There are plenty of candidates for this spot since the entire roster of pseudo-legends have a dragon typing, not including these two. But for me, it has to go to black and white pseudo, mainly because he's badass and he's actually a dragon. Otherwise, it would have gone to Garchomp. Speaking of Garchomp, ground type goes to none other than Diglett. Be honest, I got you, didn't I? Ground goes to Diglett because this dude lives in the ground so much to the point where people actually theorize about the lower half of his body, making this one a no-brainer. Now it's time for flying. Flying's mascot has to be elegant and graceful. This one is hard for me because Altaria and Pidgeot both fit this typing so well. One of them has a very elegant aesthetic with clouds for wings, and the other is very graceful with slick hair. But I think the blue cloud barely takes the edge. Rock is another stalemate between Geodude and Onyx, but Geodude probably takes this one because he is pretty much just a rock. Steel goes to Metagross because he's just too badass for his own good. And Fairy goes to none other than Gardevoir 
because she legitimately looks like a fairy. Here are all of the mascots, and feel free to let me know about all of your garbage opinions in the comments.